Hello, good morning. I'm just waiting for Facebook to work. Hello, okay, great. So it's working. Hello and good morning. So I'm very sorry for being a little bit late. And good morning, Ella. Thanks for your message for telling me that you're joining in today. So what we're working on this week, the emphasis for this week, the emphasis for last week was to connect with the animals and to honor them and also to be open to learning from them. Um, humans have this mistaken idea that we're the most intelligent species on, on this world and possibly in the solar system and that's such rubbish. Um, it just comes from, um, I don't know where it comes from. I suppose it just makes us feel a bit safer. Uh, perhaps we think that um, we, because we can cut down trees and we can pull up plants, um, there's nothing really there. They can't run away and <laughs> they can't do anything to protect themselves. Um, and therefore we are the superior race in every way but like I found yesterday with the orchids is now there's there are a lot of things which plants and animals um, have naturally which we many humans don't seem to be able to grasp and they know exactly what their role is and they do it and they grow and they grow their roots and they grow into a particular type of plant and that plant produces a particular type of flower you don't get any plants moaning about not knowing what they should be doing or 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 that they're not getting enough um, nutrients from the soil or sunlight um, and and that they're so confused so you don't you don't really get that. I mean, maybe if if we did tune into them and have a good listen, perhaps um, perhaps amongst some of the plants, maybe there is some disgruntledness, as we as we see often in 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 humans, yeah. But whatever it is, it doesn't stop them from from growing their leaves or growing their shoots or growing their branches and growing the trees if all the um, conditions are right then uh, even well I mean look at all the plants and our weeds and the pavements they just grow and we pull them up and they grow or we spray them and kill everything as a result of that bees and insects so it's such a daft idea to spray any herbicides and there's evidence coming out now that it's very very it can cause cancer for us too if it's killing insects then uh, chances are it's got a detrimental effect on us on water on fish on um, everything else which lives so let's try and avoid that so even the weeds and the small little plants, they flourish. I mean, cockroaches, insects. Oh, no, we, we, <laughs> yeah, yikes. Cockroaches, not nice. Uh, they're incredibly tough. And they've been around for a very, 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 very long time, like sharks. Yeah, they've been around for, oh, I think since the dinosaurs. So they've been around much longer than we have. And um, there are lots of creatures who've, way surpassed our timeline on this planet <clears throat> and possibly you know for for any reason um if if we have suddenly a meteorite which crashes into the planet um you know that would be wipe out a lot of people and it wipe out a lot of species it would kill a lot of plants but after a while balance comes back and the plants and whichever animals or insects or whatever have managed to 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 survive that 
they begin to to flourish and they begin to thrive again they come back into balance with each other again okay so this is something that we can really learn from the plants and uh, i'll stop giving everyone a lecture <laughs> Uh, now about uh, about stuff okay so what I'd like you to do is I would like you to stay in your body you really really feel the sensations that your your body is is giving to you it's really lovely having a, a you know like a uh, an experience where you you may travel and, and journey and that's absolutely fine but when we can do that in a more grounded way we can we, we th th this it's uh, this it's just something different it feels more real it lasts the effects last a lot longer we remember a lot more okay so if you'd like to close your eyes go ahead if you'd like to keep your eyes open that's absolutely fine as well Okay, so start to pay attention to your breath. This is the simplest, simplest, simplest thing to do. Is pay attention to your breath and to slow it down. Oopsie, excuse me. And to start to breathe in as deeply as you can. Hay fever. Breathe out as much as you can as well following your own rhythm that's right but also listen to my voice feel your feet on the ground support your back if you need to so you need to keep your back straight. So put the pillows behind your chair if you need to. We're going live now, Ella. I will write you a comment. Oh dear, I wonder what's going on. Now. Sometimes I really don't know with Facebook <laughs> because there's this new um, interface I would say and um, I don't know whether people are actually seeing me because it's there are a lot less people joining in than they were last week before this new system came in so yeah well let's hope uh, let's hope that it's it's working but anyway I am also videoing it on my phone oh you're looking for me okay on my timeline <clears throat> been live for over eight minutes now so i don't know how maybe there's something i'm not doing right okay Oh, mm -hmm. okay, no sound. Why no sound? Okay, yes, sorry, let me see. Okay, I'm just gonna see. Yeah, well, it seems to be working. Seems to be working. Uh, so I don't know why you can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, okay. <sighs> right. So let's get back to it. Yep. So pay attention to your breath. Feel the sensations your physical body is giving to you. Make sure your back is straight. Keep your feet on the ground if you can. If you want to sit cross-legged, that's absolutely fine. Great. Good. <laughs> um, okay. 
So just feel all the sensations that your body is giving to you. Feel your butt on the seat. And what can you smell? What can you taste? And you can hear my voice. Perhaps there are other sounds around you, but that's okay. Use that to help you to focus more. So we need to try to stay as grounded as possible whilst we're doing this meditation. Yeah, I think you, you, we take a lot more. It becomes more real for us. Yeah, and it also helps us to embody ourselves more here, our spirit, our soul, our pure soul. Okay, so just take a few deep breaths. And we're just going to do a visualization to help us to raise our vibration. And as we do that, we're also going to bring in more of our own spirit our own pure soul energy into our bodies. So imagine yourself surrounded uh, or even encased in a, in a huge sphere of gold. Bring in whatever other light you feel, whatever other color you feel you need at this moment. Yeah, if it's pink or if it's yellow or green or violet or rainbow colors. So just imagine yourself surrounded by this range of colors, but please ensure that gold is there as well. <clears throat> and what I'd like you to do on the next in-breath is to imagine that it's pouring into you through your crown. So you have this liquid gold pouring into your crown and whatever other colors that you have imagined or you have been guided or you've intuited that you need as well. So you just visualize this, imagine all this beautiful gold, liquid gold light pouring into the center of your head, into your pineal gland, which is in the center of your brain and it's pouring in and it's completely soaking it into your pineal gland. And it's going into your whole brain, into the pituitary gland, which is behind your third eye. So it's soaking into that too, completely soaking into it like you're pouring, you're pouring liquid into all parts of your brain, your entire brain, the hypothalamus, the amygdala, the two hemispheres, the front as well, the frontal lobe, and into the brainstem and the occipital region, which is where the, the skull meets the spinal cord. And this light is starting to go into the sockets, into your eyes, into your nose and nasal region, into the cheeks, the jaw, the teeth, the bones, the skull and the ears, your entire head, all the muscles, veins, the arteries, the limbs, all the glands, all the bones and into your hair. And keep breathing as you do this, yeah? So you have to focus. Don't let go of the focus of what your physical body needs as well. Breathing in deeply, using your breath as you breathe in to bring more of this liquid gold and liquid light, liquid color, more and more into your head, your brain, into your face, into your skin. And you can imagine that it's also 
it's also oozing out into your greater consciousness around you and around your head. So it's leaking, leaking through, it's just coming through and it's merging with the energy bodies as well. So with each in-breath, there's more coming in and with each out-breath, you're letting go of all thoughts that don't serve you or limiting beliefs. Um, all the outdated beliefs which may have been imposed on you, which may have been brought in by your ancestors, on the out-breath, you just let it all go and it just becomes gold, just transmutes into gold or returns where it needs to go. And what this does is it creates more space for more of this gold color. And what we'll be doing is we're also drawing in your pure soul energy, your spirit, so as there's more space, because it isn't caught up by all these old crappy thoughts and feelings and beliefs which aren't yours or you've taken on because you're told that, that this was the way it is and the way it has to be. And you believe that, no, it doesn't, I don't believe in that. And I don't want that. So on the next few in-breaths, you're breathing in your pure soul, your spirit energy. So the idea is to ground and embody more of you, more of your spirit. Yeah, so the more grounded you are, the more you will sense this, the more you, you, you gain from this as it brings clarity and it brings joy. It's, it's, it's yours, you know, it's what you are, it's what we are, love, unity, peace, calm, connection, appreciation. So you can now imagine your spirit sinking in, coming in to the pineal gland, into the pituitary gland, into the brain, the whole of the brain, the frontal lobe, the two hemispheres down into the brain stem into the whole of your face, your ears. Yeah, we're still focusing on the head at the moment. We haven't moved down yet. Okay, so sink in and it's, as you breathe out, it's going into your energy bodies as well. So it's spiraling with the gold and the other colors that you've brought in. Your spirit is coming in as this gold and the other colors are helping to just shift the vibration and help to push out stuff which isn't yours and you don't need you don't want yeah and so it's making way in all your cells and your vibration for your soul your your spirit to enter and take up the space and anchor itself so keep breathing and this gold light which very slightly precedes your spirit, yeah, your energy, your pure soul energy. And it comes down your throat, the nasal passage, esophagus, the thyroid, the throat chakra, and it's coming down the spinal cord and going into all the nerves as well. Going through all the nerves, all the nerve endings, and it's coming through the nerves, through the whole of the body, down to the feet, all the way down to the hands. It's flooding the skeleton, <clears throat> the bones of the skeleton. It's coming around the ribs, so it's coming down into the chest. It's coming into the shoulders, shoulder blades, the skeleton of the arms, the lymph system, the blood, the arteries, the veins, the muscles, the tendons, all the joints. It's coming into the thymus, the thymus gland, the high heart, the bones, the sternum, into the lungs, into the heart, heart chakra. 
and breathe in and breathe out breathe in breathe into the heart breathe into your lungs take your lungs back get into your heart feel it feel your chest feel how it feels loosen up your shoulders if you need to And so all this energy, all this light, the liquid gold light and the colors that you wanted are coming into all these parts and your soul is following as it creates more space. And the gold light is just transmuting all the stuff you don't need. And you just allow any toxins in the body which are ready to just come out to just gradually come out and transmute or to return where it needs to go to complete its cycle as well so make sure you drink enough water get enough sleep eat well and now it's going down into the stomach into the liver, the spleen, the pancreas, into your solar plexus, into all the muscles there, into the nerves, you know of the vagus nerve which connects the digestive system with the brain. So what happens in your gut, it really affects our health and really affects the way we feel. When I have a lot of sugar, I get very distracted <laughs> and I need more stuff which is sweet. <sighs> and that's not a great thing because then I get itchy around my face because you can get candida as well, which is a type of fungus around the face and other parts of the body. Mm. So what we put inside us is very important so if we need to look at nutrition go and speak to your nutritionist and take care of what we eat try to have as much especially now it's nice and bright i'm finding i'm eating more salads which is really lovely so fresh fruit fresh vegetables lots of water enough protein so stomach down small intestines kidneys gallbladder, adrenal glands, it's continuing down into the sacral area, into the sexual organs, the large intestines, the bladder. So as we're breathing, we're bringing all this light down, it's flooding through and your soul energy, spirit is also coming in and it's taking up all the space which has been freed up by the transmutation of all the lovely gold light and the release of any toxins yeah the vibration gets it's in every part of our bodies and emotions have got vibrations as well so just feel into your body if you need to just wiggle around a little bit or you need to stretch or you need to rotate on your butt or you need to sway go ahead if you need to get up and shake then go ahead so follow your intuition if you need to jump up and down a few times and stomp your feet then go ahead okay so it's into the hips sexual organs into the bones of the hips the lymph system, the nerves, the blood, the muscles, joints, all the tendons, all the spongy bits between the joints, cartilage, that's it, cartilage. And it's going down the legs, so it's also down, when it went down the spinal cord, it went to the tail as well, the tailbone, the 
end of the spine into the perineum root chakra yeah and now it's going down the legs into the bones the bone marrow the muscles the joints the knees down the shins and the calves the ankles heels and the bones and the toes and we're also taking this down into your earth star chakra yeah which is about a foot below your feet so continue to hold the focus with your breath continue to be grounded and feel the sensations as this gold light is coming in and your spirit is coming in as well feel really get get a sense of what the body how the body is responding to all of this okay so all this light is going down spiraling into your earth star and then it's going all the way down through all the layers and followed by spirit uh, your spirit and it's going down and down all the layers of the earth and you can either anchor into the solid core the 3d solid core the material core of the planet or the light core of the planet or both and as we come down mother earth opens her arms to receive us telling us how much she loves us telling us how much she loves us and that she's not a punishing all these ideas about the earth punishing us is I'm sorry I don't believe that so feel this beautiful loving energy holding you in her breath Telling you, you've never been alone. Always, when you've been here, I've been with you. You've been walking on my surface, on my skin, on my body. And with each step you've taken, I have supported you. So with this, she also gives of her energy and her light, which can be any color which comes into your mind. To me, it's silver. It's always so silvery white. But it could be dark, it could be black, it could be like soil. Mmm, rich, rich hummus. And it starts to spiral up around our light which came down with the gold so it's spiraling around as it comes up through all the layers and it merges with our earth star chakra which is below our feet which is our connection to to the earth then it rises up our feet i'm doing a lot of burping today it's rising so it's shifting stuff shifting for me too as, as this is a really simple meditation to do and yet it's <clears throat> it's shifting my stuff as well um, so far we've been doing it every day this week so we will continue even though it takes a bit of time sorry so it's coming up your feet this light and this energy which is gifted by earth it's coming up through the feet again it's also merging with bones merging with tendons, with muscles, with bone marrow, nourishing us, helping us to thrive, coming up the bones, uh, up through the knees, up through the thighs, and the muscles, up into the hips, the bones, the joints, the nerves, the limb, muscles, blood, coming up the spinal cord from the root, from the tailbone and it's flooding up the spinal cord it's flooding through all the nerves yeah we have combination of of um source of spirit and this body and 
energy which is gifted by the by the earth and so it's coming up through the sexual organs from the root up to through the bladder as well into the bladder and the bones the hip bones the pelvis the sit bones as well it's coming up through all the nerves to the sexual organs your sacral and then up into solar plexus oh also the large intestines the small intestines the liver the pancreas the spleen the kidneys the adrenals all the muscles all the spaces in between the organs and into the stomach into the heart into the lungs into the rib cage all the bones again the nerves coming through uh, heart lungs thymus high heart in through the shoulders and down the arms up the throat thyroid throat esophagus larynx tongue up into the face and it's been coming up and it's up the spinal cord and it is also at the occipital region and it floods the skull floods the brain pituitary pineal gland into the eyes the ears the nose into the teeth tongue and it continues its journey upwards from the crown So how does your body feel now? Yeah, just take a couple of minutes just to if you if if you've kind of not felt uh, you may have felt that parts of your body are shifting parts of it are a bit achy. Oh, that's okay. Hi Ray. That's okay. It's just starting to release, okay? If you want to help, then you can breathe into that space that part of your body and just let go as well do it a few times yeah it's just letting go whatever is might have been a bit stagnant there okay so i'm feeling it in my left hip yes mm. but that's okay it will pass so keep breathing and keep connecting to to feeling your body okay so today as I said on the post prior to the live video that we're connecting to the beech trees at Avebury now if you've been to Avebury um, there are the stones and there are quite a few stones which are scattered you have the uh, avenue of stones on if you're at the pub <laughs> and the the road kind of goes up beyond you and there's stones on the other side of the road and there's like an avenue of stones um, but if you are at the pub and the car park and you cross the road into a uh, a field there's some really large stones there as well but if you go on the left and you can see the sort of the mound which it's like a huge sort of circular um, barrel raised sort of thingy yeah mound but on the on the left if you go around the the there's a cottage I think in that field at the end of that mound before the the other bit of the road it, is, it has made a cut through that that mound that circle that raised circle there are about four amazing trees i think they're beech trees and um came across them when doug buckingham took a group of us there and we were working in the field on the opposite side of the uh, besides the stones but also the and then we did some we we did a, a meditation with the the trees because um their roots are intertwined and what I got yesterday, I'll let you um, experience this and then I can recap what I was getting yesterday because the trees have got different properties and different roles to play. Like, um, so the silver birches are like uh, the pioneers in the sense. 
um, so they they would come first and and then the other trees would come later it's, it's like as if they prepare the ground for the other trees to to then take root and to, to flourish um, so with with these trees they are there's something quite amazing because there are four of them and they're not very they're quite close to each other and this is a real uh, such an important lesson for us there, there are four trees they're very close their roots are, are quite exposed but they're intertwined and when you can get a chance after this when there's no more lockdown and we can just go freely it, it would be amazing if if you did go especially in the in this sort of weather a lot of people have tied lots of ribbons and offerings to to in the branches and in the roots um, but it's an amazing energy and it's amazing to do sounding work there as well um, and you can really feel especially if you sit and you get your butt on the roots so what we need to do is if you've been there before then just imagine that you're sitting and your bum and your vagina perhaps is, is in contact or your other parts if you're a man <laughs> are in contact to your 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 bum is in contact with with the roots and the ground with the soil as well and you have your back to the tree against this tree trunk so we just ask permission to connect with these trees these amazing old beings And the answer is yes thank you and just imagine that your feet are anchored to, to the ground and their roots growing and if you were to have your arms outstretched their branches growing and what I did yesterday is I merged completely. It's like I sank into the tree. So you can do it two ways. You can sink into the tree and merge with it and feel its roots and your, your feet becoming its roots and your arms becoming its branches. Or you can grow your own roots and grow your own branches as you have your back against the tree. And just feel how everything slows down. And my breath is just automatically just slowed down. The rhythm is just slowed down without me even being conscious of it. And just be open to whatever you sense through your body, whatever you hear, whatever you see. Because the gift or the information it gives to you can be very different from the information it gives to me. So just open your spirit ears because we have senses beyond the physical senses they're, they're the same but they're multi-dimensional if you need to and I was just thinking another way to do this is to journey to do a, a journey a, very, a, sh a short shamanic journey to, to meet the spirit or the essence of the tree but we're doing it this way today so you feel your bum on the roots and feel your feet as well perhaps your knees are straddling the roots it's more comfortable or perhaps you've, you've got your feet on the roots as well your back 
against the tree. Or you've merged, sunk in and you've merged in with the tree. So just allow yourself to perceive whatever you need to perceive. Perhaps all you need to do is just feel the rhythm of this set of trees. And you may find yourself connecting very, very deeply with the rhythm of earth and the rhythm of nature. We, we are not living on a planet which is just a rock with nothing. It's, this rock is teeming with life. It has a natural rhythm. Animals know when earthquakes or tsunamis are going to happen because they are constantly connected to the rhythm and they know when something is going to happen. And some people are like that too. But it's this connection which helps us to be aligned with the natural rhythm of, of this planet, which we were born from and we live on and live in. And when we're out of alignment with it, it's when all chaos happens. And we start destroying stuff, I suppose. But that's one of the reasons why that that happens. So we're completely cut off and disconnected from Earth and from nature, from the life, this life force. It's there, available. So keep breathing and allow your rhythm to shift if it needs to. And what is this tree saying? What are these trees saying to you? What is it helping you to sense about yourself? Is it giving you some visuals? Or can you just feel the sap rising? And can you feel the branches swaying in the wind? And the roots anchored deeply in the soil, in the earth. And do you just feel very strong, very grounded, alive, and stable? Do you feel community, sharing, oneness? So just sit a little while more and we just thank these beautiful beings holding such a lot of wisdom and healing and an understanding of life here. Now it's this time to disconnect. If you are merged, 
just imagine yourself coming out from the tree and you're coming out completely and you can turn around and thank the tree for letting you merge with it and thank the tree as you get up for letting you sit on it and connect with it and connect with the roots and connect with the ground <sighs> so concentrate on the breath again and feel your bum not on the roots anymore but on your chair and your feet on the ground on the floor in your home and start to hear the birds around you singing there are lots of birds at the moment in the garden it's amazing all the chirping is really beautiful really contributes to the to meditation helps us to focus but also brings in this, this, this beautiful beautiful energy of life plenty <laughs> so start to wriggle your toes do a little stretch stretch your arms out oh yes stretch stretch drink some water if you've had your eyes open this whole time wonderful if not you can just put your hands over your eyes open them and you can part your fingers and as your eyes get more accustomed to the light then you can withdraw your hands so thank you very much for joining me and just make sure that you're completely disconnected from the tree connect disconnected from the trees yeah that you are yourself once again your spirit in this body on this earth on this planet in your home so if you need to do some cross crawl and that's matching your right elbow with your left knee hello kinny and matching your left elbow with your right knee and you alternate so you'll be hopping up and down as you do it it's a great way for getting a bit more grounded and getting both hemispheres of your both sides of your brain working okay so hello sweetie make sure that you drink enough water and you might want to write down come on up see that's right you might want to write down what um what what you you felt what you gained from from that meditation and you can you can do it with with other trees as well or with a picture of a tree too yeah hello sweetie pie and this is king who's going to see the the vet for his checkup but uh, he he tends to to like hopping on i think it's like a reminder time to take me out for a walk or to give me a bit more food anyway thank you very much for joining in and i hope that it, it served you well this meditation tomorrow we will have another meditation and um we'll see what 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 comes up um what might be fun is to do sunflowers because they are amazing with the the huge faces following the, the sun <clears throat> so um and they've got long 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 puny tiny stalks and these big big faces at the end of them they're quite amazing really structurally so um yeah so thank you very much have a good morning and have an absolutely wonderful day and take care bye for now oops i need to